Piers Morgan has previously argued that feminism should be about equality and not trashing men as he slammed the Barbie movie, starring Margot Robbie. Now, he has poked fun at the film's leading ladies failing to secure an Oscars nod, after the 2024 nominees were announced today. Despite Margot and Greta being snubbed, former Ugly Betty star America Ferreira landed a Best Supporting Actress nomination for her role in Barbie as Gloria alongside Ryan Gosling for Best Supporting Actor. Following the news, Piers told his 8.7 million followers, director, Greta, Gerwig, actress, Margot, Robbie, snub. Ryan, Gosling, nominated. Equals the patriarchy has the last laugh. Although both Margot as Barbie and Ryan as Ken are said to have taken home equal pay, with each reportedly receiving a mammoth $12.5 million, 9.87 million pounds, to play the iconic characters, it's Ryan who has the chance of securing a coveted Oscar. Actor John Donahue also took to Twitter, but seemed to be on the side of the girls, quizzing. So only Ken was nominated and not Barbie. Granted, Ryan Gosling is always incredible in everything he does, but I think Oscar voters missed the point of the movie. Piers, on the other hand, who enclosed a gif of Ryan winking in his tweet, has never made any secret of his distaste for the Barbie movie, claiming that it mocked men. In an opinion piece published in the New York Post, the talk TV host had fumed, if I made a movie mocking women as useless dunderheads, constantly attacking the matriarchy and depicting all things feminist as toxic bulls, asterisk, 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 I wouldn't just be cancelled, I'd be executed. The film is set in a fictional world called Barbie Land, controlled by the Barbies, only for Ryan Gosling to swoop in as Ken and install a patriarchal system. Piers had objected to Barbie returning and seizing control in a bid to turn men back into subservient saps and had quizzed, why? I thought the whole point of feminism is that women wanted equality with men, not a complete reversal of the perceived unequal social power structure, he wrote. I don't know any woman, other than perhaps US female soccer superstar Megan Rapino, who wants a world where women dominate absolutely everything, and men are reduced to dim-witted doormats barely capable of changing a light bulb.